Hello everyone, this is Bentley out in Kent, Washington, and today we're going to do an update on Plants for Profit. And what we're going to do is focus on a specific plant, Alternanthera rhinecii, or AR. Uh, this is a plant that is very easy to grow. It does best in CO2, but it does not require CO2. You get a nice kind of coppery top leaf color, and this beautiful pink or red underleaf color. It's very, very popular in aquascaping. Uh, you can see here I've got two different varieties in this particular tank, and then um, a third variety I'm going to show you in a sec. So you have regular AR, AR variegated, and you can see here we're going to look as I move some plants so we can see it easier. From the top, as you get to the very tops of the leaves, as they get closer to light, you're going to get this lovely kind of uh, more burgundy color in then in the lower leaves, you got the kind of coppery orange. Here's a variegated version that's not showing its variegations because it's not getting quite enough light. And then we'll move over to another one to show you what true variegated is going to look like. Uh, and that's this plant right here as I, as I grab it. Uh, and you can notice those really strong, obvious pink veins on the top of the leaves. That is the difference between variegated. Now, AR, both regular and variegated, also come in a mini version which only gets about, uh, I would say, three and a half inches tall or so. And then uh, here's a, just for scale, to see a very healthy, with lots of child plants on it, mini version. Um, this is actually also variegated, but you won't see that right away. And that doesn't necessarily matter. They're the same size. Now, how do you know um, the difference between CO2 and no CO2? So here we go. We look at this adult plant, the older leaves up top, which are really bushy, you can see kind of some marbling in the pink, and then the tops are a much more yellow-green color. Now a child plant that came from that same thing, you'll notice much brighter pink, so we can see the new growth has had more focus in those leaves. And there's a little more of the copper color in the upper leaves, but as the leaves get lower, you start seeing that yellow-green color again. So without the CO2, it's not pulling quite as much nutrients or growth, so the color is a little more muted, not quite as strong. Now, if we get to plant that's been growing in CO2, we have this big, healthy adult stem where we've pulled child plants off, but you can see the tops are bright, bright red, almost no pink to it. And then when we take it under the water, again, that lovely kind of copper orange tone getting into burgundy at the very tops of the leaves where it gets the most light. So now how do you know if it's ready to propagate? In regular AR, the non-mini variety, you wanna look for something like this, a big set of roots flowing out into the water column kind of mid-water, aerially. And I'm going to pan over in a sec, and you will see there's a bunch of these root clusters on several of these stems. That usually means that there are bunches of child plants growing there, and that they're ready to be removed and propagated down into the substrate as brand new plants. This is one of the best parts of this plant, is that you can take side, side stems off instead of clipping the tops. So here I am uh, working with a piece of the mini. You'll notice the mini is harder because all the growth is at the bottom. So you're not going to see a big aerial root, but once it gets starting to get really bushy, just pull it out and you'll see child plants. And here you see nice big roots coming off of it. Now the second I pulled this out of the water, there's tons of roots. And that's how I can tell like for certain there's lots of child plants. And you can see off this one little piece, I get a couple of child plants. I think it's three total. And then I still have a very bushy adult plant that I can replant and it will grow new child stems as well and continue giving growth while the other child stems keep growing out. Now we go to the larger AR, the full size AR, and um, you can see that big aerial root column. And even down low, there's still a couple extra child plants to remove from the bottom of the stem. So just the same, we go and we just can, you can either trim them with a pair of uh, scissors or do it by hand. I tend to pull it by hand because I can kind of slow pull and be a little more careful and it helps make sure the roots stay in better tact. Uh, so we pull a couple from the bottom and we can see we get a couple of nice clusters here and then we come up into that big root ball. Look for the bigger healthier plants. If it looks like a full stem like this one here that I just kind of pointed at, pull that off. If it's still pretty tiny, leave it there, let it grow out a little longer and then just go at it in another like week or two and remove the child plant. You can see I get a couple more here, and then eventually there's a big stem. And all of the stuff is easily just put right back in the substrate. Never have to trim the top, so it always looks beautiful. So when you're displaying it, it looks wonderful to show off to customers. This is a great plant. It's Alternanthera rhinecii. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.